Okay, let's continue our discussion class on functions. So let's start first with the classification of functions. Now, I'll just discuss briefly or dilem briefly ka ng straight to the point ba? Anyways, kung paspas na kayo, pwede naman sa inyo balikan. Okay, naka-record naman siya. Okay, let's discuss elementary functions. Under elementary functions class, we have algebraic function, um, which includes polynomial, radical, rational. We also have the trigonometric functions. Example na sine, cosine, tangent, so on. And then lastly, we have the exponential and logarithmic function. So um, right now, we'll just focus on in-depth discussion on more on polynomial or algebraic functions. Getting to we'll have an in-depth discussion on the later chapters. Okay, so that's the important figures class, uh, figure or per personality um, when we're talking about calculus, and that is Leonard Euler. So Leonard Euler had made major contributions to almost every branch of mathematics. Also, Euler was one of the first to apply calculus to real-life problems in physics. So there are so many important figures in mathematics, but Euler is one of the <clears throat> most kanang kanang nashay dagang kanga contribution ba? So this includes mga kanang real-life problems against so shipbuilding, acoustics, optics, astronomy, mechanics, and magnetism. Okay, so pasalamat takang ang kol kol Euler. Okay, let's. Let's discuss polynomial function class. So that's, again, under algebraic function. So polynomial function, this is the most common type of algebraic function. And I'm sure you're familiar with this during your junior high school, no? algebra. And this is now the standard form of our polynomial function. So anad man tanga, again, sa una ka ng y is equal to x squared plus x plus 2. No? So this is a polynomial equation but now specifically atong let atong y as a function of x so that's a function polynomial function so this is now the <coughs> excuse me the standard form of a polynomial function we have f of x is equal to a sub n x to the n plus a sub n minus 1 x raised to n minus 1 plus that 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 until a sub 2x squared plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0. Where, kining mga a nato dali class, no, our coefficients, constants na siya, no? These are the coefficients per term. Okay? And then, n here should be a non-negative number. Should be 0 or positive number. Kung negative ni siya, what will happen? Kung negative ang itong exponent sa is x to the negative 1, that's no longer a polynomial function. Okay, we can express that as 1 over x. And that is now a rational function. So later, ito nang ma-discuss. No? So again, dapat non-negative. Di po ito kaingon nga positive, Rakay. Part of, part of your, part of the kind of allowed nga exponent for polynomial function is 0 man. And that is neither positive nor negative. So in general, your n must be a non-negative number. Okay? So, again, uh, atong mga a diri are constants where your a sub n class is the coefficient of your term na ay highest degree or highest exponent. So, n is the highest. And then, until, actually, magka-decrease yung muhang, kung i-arrange itong polynomial, ba, magka-decrease ang ato ang exponent, ana. so, until na kay 2 dira 1, and actually, this is x to the 0, no? What, but um, anything that is raised to zero is equal to one. So that's why this one is just a constant term. One is a constant term. You must have polynomial function where katong na multiply mo sa x to the zero. And this is also what you call the leading coefficient. Leading coefficient class is katong coefficient sa imuhang term na ay highest exponent. So magamit na later pag test na to sa certain graph no kaning identifying the leading coefficient. Now, medyo Basing kailangan mo refresh ba sa inyong polynomial function kining standard form. Libog sa tanaw no, labi na kong first time ni mga na encounter na. But um, th this is the standard form. Kaya nga naman, if you have an f of x, for example, that is equal to, example na kay, um, atong iko ang gamay, example, x raised to 5 plus 2x 
minus 3x squared plus 1. For example, yung ana. So, we want to arrange that. Kita na ito. So, gide ang standard form. For example, we want to get the value of atong identify na ito ng a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub 2. Ito sa a sub 0. So, dili man necessary nga kompleto ang imong mga exponent no from 5 padulong sa 0 gyud so atong i-rearrange para makita nato if ah uh, mali gito sa atong mga constant so just a quick review ra man ni class pero nganong dugay kay ko dire so we have f of x equal to kung i-rearrange nato ang exponent class last exponent is x to the 5 diba now kung highest ang 5 expect ni nato tay x to the 4 pero ang atong coefficient sa x to the 4 class kung atong i-fill in ta nang terms ba nga uh, kung i-fill in na ng terms such that the the sa tawag ni the exponent is decreasing nya so dapat ang atong x to the fourth class wala man tay x to the fourth dela no meaning ang yang coefficient ana is 0 okay plus wala sa tay x cube so kung imong x cube ana is subtanja po nga yang coefficient is 0 okay and then x squared na tay minus 3x squared let me just move this. Okay. X squared plus 2x. Okay. 1 naman na. And then lastly, natay plus 1. Okay. So nakita na to class natay 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then 0, diri. We are now rewriting this polynomial function in this form. Okay. So we identify, if you want to identify, as a dapit ang a sub n na to. A sub n na to class is a a sub 5. Ngano man, kay n na to is 5, the highest man. So, a sub 5 na to is 1. A sub 4 na to is 0. A sub 3 is 0, gyapon. A sub 2 coefficient sa katong na x squared, that is negative 3. A sub 1 is 2. And then lastly, itong constant term is just positive 1. Okay, so that's how you identify the coefficients per term sa imong polynomial function. Now, uh, importante ni siya, again, if you want to get the, if you want to recognize as a dapit ang imong leading coefficient. But, in most cases, dili ito mo i-rewrite yung nga ni nga form, no, ka na mo fill in mo na 0, 0. Pwede na nyo siya i-rewrite nga wala na ni siya. Sabotable naman na nga, wala na nga term. Okay, so next. Uh, we have, kung for example, ani. Zero degree up to the third degree of a polynomial function. So, mga, mga special ni sila nga function sa polynomial. No? So, if you have zero degree, meaning ang imong exponent, ang highest exponent sa imong polynomial function is zero. So, dapat na kay x to the zero. Dila. Or that is just equal to one. No? That's why if the polynomial function has zero degree, f of x is just equal to a, where a is a constant. So, we call that as a constant function. And then, for the first degree, of course, ang highest exponent mo kay 1. The first degree naman. So, ax plus b. Now, kung malibog mo, lahi lagi mga notation din na ka a sub 0, a sub 1, a sub 2. That's fine. Um, the rational behind na class is, kapoy na kayo magdaghan kikag subscript no, ng naon ba kung ato nahi mo ang a sub n plus ay a sub, ay sorry, a, isa po ato nang i-rewrite into a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. Dagang kay ginoon na nung nakasubscript diri, libo kayo siya sa mata. So, why not? Ito na lang siya replace an of another variable. So, that's all. That's also fine. So, again, you have a x plus b. That is the linear function. Kung second degree siya, meaning highest ang 2 ni mo. So, that is just a quadratic function in the form of a x squared plus b x plus c. Okay. So, we also have the third degree um Cubic function, ang highest po niyo is ang cube. Ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Okay. Moving on sa ito ang leading coefficient test. So, kini siya class, we use this test to determine on sa behavior sa imong right and sa imong left part sa imong graph. So, there are two types. There are two types. No? Atong, atong, atong yung i-divide class para di mo malibog. Uh, focus ato the ring up area. This is the graph of a polynomial function of even degree. When you say even degree, even degree, all terms class of, poly, of, of the polynomial function have even 
Okay, note lang ko have even exponents. Okay? Ang add po, bali po siya, all terms will have add exponents. Okay. So, for example, dirita sa Okay. Natay doon ka example. Mag, mag kontay doon ka example. Class. We have f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x squared. And for example lang. Then we have here uh, for example lang yan. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so there are two types, no? Sa under sa even degree ni mga polynomial function class, nasa type 2 two conditions, okay? First is, when your leading coefficient, ay, okay, first step day class is, tanahon sa nato, on sa highest degree. Okay? Now, <coughs> um, sorry, medyo nalibok, so we explain that. Atong na akong day class tanahon is ang imong gihatag ba nga polynomial function? Number one is, is it an even degree or odd degree na polynomial function? So, kung tanahon na ito, there is atong f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x squared. This is an even degree function, polynomial function. Why? Kay kada term niya class, yung exponent has even exponent. Kini kay 4, kini kay 2. Okay, so this is already an even degree polynomial function. Next step is to identify as ang highest exponent. Now, the highest exponent is 4. Okay? So, kanya itong tanahon nga term, kanyang x to the fourth. Next, tanahon din nato, unsa iyang coefficient. Now, the coefficient of this is 1. Actually, it doesn't matter unsa yung value. Ang atong tanahon is negative ba siya or positive? Okay? So, in this case, atong a sub... Okay. Okay, so, sa yung iro nag -away. Okay, so, atong x to the fourth, again, ang ato ang, <clears throat> ato ang leading coefficient, Anna, is 1 or positive. Okay? So, kung positive siya, class, na po tayo, yung ano yung behavior sa, sa imong graph, if your a sub n or the leading coefficient is positive. So, ang a sub n is 1, mano. More specifically, that is a sub 4. Okay, positive 1. So, kung positive 1 daw, narao, yung condition is, kung positive yung maliging coefficient, ang behavior dyan sa graph is yung ani, ang sa left nga part pa up, ang sa right kay pa up. So, both of uh, the right side and left side of your graph is going up. It doesn't matter, gaunsa na siya dira, ga W, ga, ga U ba na siya. Basta yung mong tanahon lang is ang left and the right side. And both of these are up. Again, kung even degree, positive leading coefficient, both of the both parts of the graph guy going up. Okay, now, kung negative po siya, tanawang saan po na ito, Annie. Okay, yung sakit yung step one. Step one is, we identify kung even degree ba siya. It's an even degree. Okay? Ang imuhang exponent dali is 6. Okay? Imuhang exponent dali is 0 man, x to the 0. So, even yapon. And then, unsa man ang highest exponent kining na ay x to the 6. So, Tanahon din na to ang coefficient nga naka-multiply sa iya ha. So, that is negative 2. Okay? So, that is a negative value. So, kung negative value daw, kinita nga condition. Kung negative value, ngayon siya dire, both of the graphs of, uh, sorry, both parts of the graph, no, right and left, are all going down. Okay? All going down. So, bali siya sa, yan yung positive ang imuhang leading coefficient. Alright, so if you can go on class, uh, let's try to graph na lang. Try to graph. Let's see. Sa itong desktops. <clears throat> so itong e-graph una, x to the fourth plus a minus the minus 2x squared ba na siya? Yes. So nakita ninyo class? Naka-up siya. Okay? Naka-w no? na type. So up ang mong left, up ang mong right. Let's try kining second example na to. That is negative 2x squared plus 1. Okay, naka-down siya. Naka-down. Right, so that's how you check your 
uh, the graph of your function. Okay, let's go now to the add. Kung add degree po siya class, again, ang tanang terms mo will have add exponents. So, example, ano na tag two terms, hindi na kas padali na ito na kon. So, you have f of x, x cubed minus 3x raised to 9, for example. And then, ay, negative. Positive na lang eh. You have f of x, <coughs> negative x to the 7, minus, example, plus, plus na lang, x. Okay, so, first is, again, we identify, no? If add, bagi siya, syempre, add naman akong ipanghatag din eh. So, add siya kay, in my exponent is 3 of 9. And then, next is, tanaw na itong si highest nga, kung saan nga term ang nai highest exponent, kining 3x to the 9, right? And then, identify kung saan leading coefficient. Le the coefficient is 3. So, that means it is positive, positive 3. So, ma-fall sa ani nga condition. Now, kung positive dahil mo ang leading coefficient sa add degree class, uh, sa balik sa tagamay sa even degree, ang imuhang graph class kay parehag behavior ang left or right no both pa up or both pa down. Diri sa add degree class sa polynomial, opposite siya. Opposite ang imong left or right. So, tanaw na nato kano siya mo up ang left, kano siya mo, mo down and vice versa. So, here in our first example, our, again, our leading coefficient is positive 3. That is a positive number, ma-fall siya ani. So, dali na kayo, pwede kang mag-reference class nga. Kung positive, Right ang mo up. Okay? Right side ang mo up. Therefore, ang mong left is down. Diri sa even degree, dali naman po kayo. Okay? Kung positive siya, both up. Ano ra? Kung negative, both down. Diri, pwede ka mag-reference nga sa mong right. Okay? Kung positive siya, dito sa right ang dito sa right side ang mo ang naka-up. Now, kung negative siya, class, itong tanahon, again. Uy, agad. Mukha sa mong hero, eh. Hawa sa mong Diri ka, diri ka. Okay, so let's check this second example. f of x is equal to negative x to the 7th plus x. How do you have Bruno? Negative x to the 7th plus x. Okay, let's check the exponents class. We have 7 and then we have 1. So add siya. Add yung exponents. All right. Um, then what is the highest exponent aning given atong a polynomial function? That is? 7. So, our term nga i-consider is negative x to the 7. And then, let's check kung sa yung coefficient. Coefficient niya is negative 1. So, negative. So, kung negative daw, ang behavior is kani. So, opposite ra siya sa kani nga graph. So, that means ang imuhang left na pod karun ang naka-up. Imo right, imo down. Okay. So, let's try to graph. Pwede na po nung skip ani. Basta magtanaw rataan yung graph nila diri. Ito rin i-verify class kung sakto ba itong bisol or atong ipag-test. Ayun siya, square. Okay, so diba, nara ang graph ko. Yang forma is same gidaan eh. And then next is negative. Okay. So, kanipod ang negative x to the 7 plus x. So, same gapon atong nakuha, no? Up sa left, down sa right. Okay, so that's how you check your graph. Sige, let's proceed. Okay, let's have the definition of radical and rational function class. So, for the radical function, this involves the radical expressions with the independent variable as the radical, okay? So, dili lang katama nila, no? Kaya kung kanira nga definition ay mga mabasa, Kung tagaan tika og f of x, example, f of x is equal to x square root of 2. We are dealing with radicals, it's radical expression here in square root of 2. But this function doesn't mean that it is a radical function. Nga naman, the condition we need to satisfy is that the independent variable must be a radical. Meaning, naa siya sa sulod sa yung radical sign. Okay, so that's why you have an example f of x is equal to square root of x plus 1. Yung x, nga independent variable, na asulot sa yung radical sign. That's the time we can conclude that that is a radical function. Next is what is a rational function? This involves the 
quotient of polynomial function in which the denominator has a degree of at least one. Actually, the Waka conditioning is satisfied the class. Um, and all nimo, for rational function, dapat na kay numerator niya nasa kay denominator dila. That, that are both polynomial function. Given that your denominator has a degree of at least one. Si kini sa tong tanaw niya, nung may siya has a degree of at least one. Meaning class, dapat, imong f of x, for example, na kay uh, x squared plus 1 over 2 ba? Okay? So, na kay, na kay uh, numerator ng polynomial, na si kay polynomial, we can consider gya po na constant function na polynomial function na. However, this is not in the degree of 1. Yan naman kay, that is x to the 0, right? Now, dili siya considering a rational function because we can just simplify that as 1 half x squared plus 1 half. And that is just a polynomial function as a whole ba? Okay, so this is not a rational function. Nano kailangan na yung nan? But nandun na at least isa. X. At least, at least 1. Meaning, pwede siya x, pwede x squared. Mag-add pa ka drag x cubed. Isa pa. Basta, yung degree should have at least uh, 1. And that's the time we can say that's a rational function. Another condition is that Q of X here, again, kinig denominator, must not be equal to 0 because that will become an undefined function. Alright, moving on. So go to the trigonometric function. Um, introduce learning class. There are 6 functions now. This is called the relationship between the angles of a right triangle and its side. So, natay, natay sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant function. And these are the graphs. Uh, example, and it's the first three na itong functions. We have the sine here, cosine. Actually, we shift ra. So, yun silang doon, no? Uh, shift lang na sila sa each other. And then, we have the tangent. So, again, in-depth discussion, Anna, will be in the later chapters. Introduction lang ni. All right, next. Next. Um, okay. Next, exponential and logarithmic definition again from the class. Just a review. Exponential function is a mathematical function of the form f of x is equal to a to the power of x, where a is the constant, constant in a class. x now is the independent variable. Now, a polynomial function, diba, in the form of, yung no example lang, x squared, that is a polynomial function. Ayaw mo ka confuse sa exponential just because it has an exponent. Yes, it has an exponent too, but that doesn't make it an exponential function. Kano sa mo siya my exponential function based on the definition, my exponential function siya if ang imong x ang imong exponent. Okay, so that's why your x here is the exponent. Um, one type of exponential function class is what we call the natural exponential function. Natural because your a here is equal to e, the natural number, or the transcendental number approximately equal to 2.718. So it's a, it is a, it's a special type of exponential function. Usually, f of x is equal to e to the x. And that is very useful, especially if we, we, we go to the higher mathematics but um, again, in koan part na siya sa imong exponential function. All right, now the inverse of an exponential class is what we call the logarithmic function. F of x is equal to log of x, the base b, where b here is the base of the logarithm. Di na siya pwede mag bilo, di na pwede log of b class niya, base x. Di na siya pwede. Uh, and x is the independent variable. So yung nga nagyo siya itsura, generally. Now we also have another, uh, sorry, special type of logarithmic function. Where your b here, it's a constant man, no, is equal to e. And we call that as a natural logarithmic function. Again, because we're using natural number, which is the e. So, review lang gamay. If you forgot how to rewrite your exponential function to logarithmic, we have here, example lang, we have 2 cube is equal to 8. How do we rewrite that into logarithmic function? We write that as log of 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. So, kung ka nalang yung nakita, class, very easy to spot. Uy, ugod mundo, ha? So, pasabot, ani, class, unsay exponent sa 2, 
para mahimo siyang eat. And the answer uh, the answer to that is 3. Okay? Again, unsa exponent sa 2 dapat para mahimo siyang eat? And the answer is 3. So if we rewrite that into its exponential form, ang ani siya ang itsura. 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. Okay, that's how you rewrite or you inverse exponential and logarithmic. Okay, <clears throat> kine. Let's have the combination of functions. Sa yung nagyapo ni class. Two or more functions can be combined by either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing to form a new function. So, pwede mo tagag doon ka functions. And then you have to get the sum, difference, product, and their quotient. So it's very straightforward, Rigid class. If you want to get the sum of two functions, usually gina write siya gina nino, f plus g of x. So equal na siya sa imong f of x plus g of x. Nakay doka function. Basically, add Rigid mo class. Okay? Now, the difference, akka ni siya, wala kay problema. Anig mabali ni mo nino, kay nag plus mangug ka. Pero for the difference class, kung say, una gani ni mga gisulat, dira f minus g of x, kanigid siya ang imuang unahon. May nusa ni mo sa g of x. Kaya lahi naman na siya if, lahi naman na siya if yung nga na, g minus f of x. Of course, following the logic of this, that is just equal to g of x minus f of x. And, that's, and that is not equal sa ani. Okay, so you have to be careful kung say, una nga function di butang dia sa first. Okay? Product. The product of f and g of x or f dot g of x equal to sa f times g of x. So, again, pwede rin na po na siya mabay. Wala man tayo problema kung product, no? Pwede rin na po ta sa quotient. So, the quotient is defined as f slash or f divided by g of x. Be careful. Again, kung unsang numerator di a class, mga sa nandapat ay mong numerator di f of x divided by g of x. Kailahit na po na siya if yung ano yung muhang makita. Sana yung notation then That's uh, following that, that is just u of x divided by f of x. And again, dili na siya equal ana. Kani dili na siya equal ana. <coughs> okay? Sige, let's have some example class. Okay. Given two functions, g of x, uh, f of x, f x equal to 3x minus 7, g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12. Okay. So, okay na sa variable sa tanong. Wala, di sa ta mag-value class para makita lang ninyo ang dagan ba. Now, to solve that, we have f plus g of x. Ato sa i-rewrite class, pwede ito malibog. That is, di ba, equal to f of x plus g of x. Now, atong f of x is kani. Okay, so ito nang i-rewrite. Sige, mag maglain tag color ba para maglain tag color para makita ninyo plus. Itong f of x kay blue na lang. Nya, atong g of x is Okay, so atong f of x plus is 3x minus 7 diba? Plus, ang g of x na to kaning Ito itong purple dere. That is 3x squared minus 12. Okay? So, if we want to add na, let's look at the same, mga same na like terms. 3x, wala mo tayo. X no. Wala na sila yung x squared. So, pwede na na ito siya i-rearrange less. Atong mga plus dere is the negative 7 and the negative 12. Okay? So, that will be, if we, re, we want to rewrite that, then that is just 3x squared. <clears throat> I-color lang na ako, babe. Para ma-follow ninyo. That is 3x squared from g of x plus 3x, 3x from f of x. And then, combining that two, that is the negative 7 of negative 12. Plus na ninyo siya. That is negative 19. So, muna na itong final answer class. So meaning that the <clears throat> the sum of f and g of x is 3x squared plus 3x minus 19. Okay? So <clears throat> Okay, so pwede sa mukha mo mag mukha mo rin mag solve the class i-post niyo yung video para solve mo sa number 2 ba? 
Siguro, ato lagi po yung solve the class. Ngayon, nagtanong 3 in B of the class. So, G minus F of X. Again, di na siya pwede mabali. Ha? So, that is G of X minus F of X. So, pwede lagi po na ito i-color code class. Mga ganahan mo. Mag-F na ito color coding. Itong G of X is katong purple. So, itong got nga nila. Purple. So, we have um, asa na to? 3x squared. Now, muna, pong, muna akong giingon class. Always use parenthesis. Para saan yun? Kung wakang ka parenthesis, di na natin mo madistribute ang negative. Naka-minus na ba na diyan? So, that is minus f of x na to class is 3x minus 7. Okay, so, diretso lang nakukombine na. Ang final answer ano is, again, ato lang i rearrange atong exponent 3x squared niya. Ang imong 3x, ani class? Narawin mong 3x. Madistribute mo na negative ni Madera. So that means, dili na na siya. Hindi na siya positive 3x. That is negative 3x. No? And then here, what will happen here? Say mo ang negative 12. Negative 12. Kaya pun minus. Minus man na. Minus negative 7. So that will become negative 12. Anam na no? Negative 12 plus 7. So, minus 12 plus 7, that is negative 5. Tama ba? Ano ni ko? Sige, anak na lang para marirek. That is 3x squared minus 3x. No? Minus, minus 5. Okay, so this is now the difference between your g and f of x. Okay, so I hope you understood that. Now, let's get an example this up. Kwan, I will not example the product. Say, I na class product or quotient. Um, kamo na pangita dagan na sa libro ang hatag sa inyo class. Basa ingan na siya pag kwan pag combine. Another way to combine your functions is called composition. Special po ni composition class. Um, a little different than the four na kung na discuss no. The resulting function po ani class is called a composite function. So given the function f, this is read as f with g. Kato ganina, product man to, basin malibog mo ba, ang f multiplied by g, f times g of x, that is f, manano, f of x times g of x. Kini kay halo, mangun na class, halo ni siya. So malibog mo ba? That is a composite. Uh, it means that you want to get the composite function. So be careful lang. Dahi na siya sa dahi na siya sa imuhang product. So ana taro nga pa niya sulat. Okay? So that is equal to f with g. You know? f of g of x. So f with g na siya. So let's try to solve class. Siya ha? Sige, let's try to solve. If you want to get the composite function, usually pag yung class, ang yung ginap, pag write, kung magkuha kong composite function, isa paresa ka ng first four na ito nga combination of functions ba? Usually, gina shortcut nag ana eh. Ana lang. F with G diretso or G, G with F. Ana. Pwede sa limabot ang ana x idiregapon pero again pwede nimo siya ma-write nga kinira masabta naman na siyang inana iyaha ang gusto pangitaon ng composite okay sige let's try to solve this one we want to get find each okay ni ningon siya find each composite function ang pasabot ani class we want to find we want to find um f with g Man got that. Be careful, like it's a notation. F with G. And then G with F. Okay? Duha man. Each composite function man daw. So, kailangan to kung duha. Now, basta malibog mo, class. F with G is not equal to G with F. Now, nice special case nga ma-equal ni sila. Pero, not all the time equal ni sila. Depende sa given nga function. Pero, Dili ni siya, again, dili ni siya always equal kay 
lahi man na siya og um, lahi man na siya pag solve kaning first na to class is equal to kuha ni mo ang value sa f given that ang value sa mong x is katong g of x yun mismo kini is g okay and that is f of x ang nasa sulod okay base ani nga notation sige <clears throat> let's solve number one Number one, we want to solve f with g. So, we write lang ko na class. Okay, hinahina yun na to class. Ang f, ang <clears throat> pinakasulod mag na itong una, i-evaluate ano, no? So, ang value day sa x, sa f of x, is ang whole expression nga g of x. Di mo mo malibog class kung hinahina yun, dyan yun ninyo, o, o butang ba? So, g of x is equal to cosine of x. Cosine of x. At ito nga yung kwan ba? That is cosine x. Okay? Mauna ang atong g of x. Okay. So, kana. Nabuti nga na nato ang, ang value sa g of x o cosine x. Now, kanina po din cosine x class. Mauna ni karo natong ipulis sa value sa x diri sa ato ang f of x. Okay? Again ha, ang any value bidra sa imuhang x should be replaced to the x is here. Kung pila mo ganit kabuok ang x, sa imuhang f. Okay? So that means, if you want to replace that, that is just equal to 2, you can aning a function, 2 times cosine x. Okay? Minus 3. So dili naman na ni mo ma further simplify. That means your answer is just 2 cosine x minus 3. Okay, I hope you understand, ha? At tutakaroon sa number 2, which is g with f. Okay, g with f is equal to, ane, g, g of f of x. Okay, nainay na to, class. Di sa nato na-evaluate, no? Tanaon sa nato, unsa na-value sa itong f of x? Unsa ang expression sa f of x? So, kini, di ba? 2x minus 3. So, ito na butan dira. 2x minus 3. Okay. 2x minus 3. Ito yung f of x. Karun, kanina daw siya nga value. Kani, kanita ng 2x minus 3. Mao daw niya itong i-input -i ito or i-replace sa x sa imong g of x. Kani. Pulihan ito ito ng x sa g of x o kini nga value. 2x minus 3. So, that means that is just cosine of 2x minus 3. Okay? Gets? So, di man ni ma-further simplify. Dili ni siya equal class ha. Basta mga butang ninyo cosine 2x minus cosine 3. Dili ha. Dili na siya. Ang 2x minus 3 mo na yung kumbaga mo na yung angle. Mo na yung angle na kuhaan ni mo cosine yung value. So, di na siya ma-distribute ang cosine dila. So, that is your final answer. Mo na ni mo hang G with F. Ay, asa naman ito? Okay. So, kana siya. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you find the composite function. So, napata example, Derek. Let's evaluate din ninyo, ba? Sige. Ah, sige, ito na lang ninyo evaluate before ito matug transformation. Okay, let's get the composite functions. F with G. So, ganyan F with G. Ang F yung muna sa gawas, dahil G of X. Okay. So, again ha, F. Yeah, ato sa i-rewrite ang G of X nga value. Now, ang G of X nga value is this one. So, change color. Nagyapunta para ma-highlight na to. You have 2 minus 3X. Mga na ito ang G of X. <coughs> Excuse me. 2. Yeah. Sige. Um, now, kanina dahil loading link. Kanina din yung value. Mauna niya itong i-plug in dito or i-replace sa mga x sa f of x. Okay, so again, mauna niya itong f of x. Pulihan na itong ang x sa mga value nga. 2 minus 3x. So kung ito nang i-try to solve, that is just x squared. Dito ka suda. x squared. So x squared, may mo na siyang 2 minus 3x squared. Sakto? Plus 5 
Ang x, pulihan na po na to. 2 minus 3x. Diri na din ang taas nga trabaho class. Ito na expound So, square of a binomial. Square of the first term. So, that is 4. Second is, ang second term na to is i-multiply mo ang dua ka term. 2 minus 3x, that is negative, ha? negative 6x times 2. Negative 12x. Tama ba? Pakicorrect na lang ako ako mali. Plus, square of the last term, that is 3x squared, and is 9x squared. Okay, and then, distributing yung 5, we have 10 minus 15x. Dine din tama mag-combine of like terms. We can combine 4 and 10. Okay? Ah, sige, arrange na lang to class. Ang atong highest kay x squared. So, wala mo na siya yung x squared. So, that is 9x squared. Next, ang sama itong combine mga x, negative 12 o negative 15, that is negative 27. Masinan ako na mali sa murder ha. Negative 27x and then combining 4 and 10, that is just plus 14. Okay, so this is now your F with G. Number 2, let's move this. Let's move the uh, natin So we want to get the G with F. Di rin na sila tatama yung glass. Okay, next one is transformation para gamay ra sa linyo ang tunan for the quiz. Okay, G with X. Sorry, G with F. That is G of F of X. Diba? So, rewrite sa ng G dira. Dayon, ang F of X. Ato ng pulihan sa value ng X squared plus 5X. Okay, that is because kanang f of x mo is equalan. And then, tanan na po, kanina po yung expression, again, it means tanang x sa imo ang g of x, pulihan na to, ani. So, meaning, that is just 2 minus 3 from here. no? Ang x man, tanang x, pulihan na to, ani. So, we have x squared plus 5x. Right? Okay, distributing negative 3, that is negative 3x squared minus 15x. Wala man tayo makombine any class. Ito lang i-arrange ha. That is negative 3x squared minus 15x plus 2. Okay, this is now your G with F. See? So, kung masayop ka, butang diya class yung expression, Oh, mamali na jud ka kay kaning duha dili man equal. All right? So, ato ni box. And that is now the end of the lecture. If you know ko medyo taas pa basta information available mo transformation of functions and then add and even functions. We din ako ni ma discuss after our quiz uh, next meeting. Okay? So, study well and pa practice practice man in combination and katong previous pud na ko nga gi you discuss. All right, so that's the end of the lecture. Hope to see you the soonest. I'm going to end my session as an atom.